A Nintendo present. A Retro Studios game. <gasps> Another present. Yes. Metroid Prime 2. It echoes. Yeah. Yeah, this is Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Metroid Prime 2... Uh, well... Do, eh, do, do, do. I mean, you, you get it. So a few years after Metroid Prime, Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Barely even two years, I think. I think this had, like, the this is like a Smash Brothers Melee thing. They had, like, the least amount of time to work on this. This is Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. It takes the original and improves it on many, many ways. But because of a lot of really uh, difficult di uh, d difficult moments in this game, people really didn't uh, take to it as much. But uh, here's how it goes. Eight days ago, contact with Galactic Federation Trooper Squad Bravo was lost. And Samus, still being under the boot of the Federation, decides to go ahead and take up the contract. So find the Federation troops and help them out. Sounds so, easy enough. That's all I gotta do. Okay. Okay, last transmission was from a rogue planet in the Dasha region called Ether. All right, cool. Head hmm. down to Ether, go save a uh, Bravo team for the, Federa for the Federation force, and uh, take them back out. Sounds easy enough, right? Should be. Hopefully. Should be. Uh, yeah, we, we can only hope. I mean, it's never that simple, but okay, yeah, checking one can the, hope. Checking the planet here. It's looking a little... Aha, there, there we go. Well, that was easy. Why didn't the Federation just do this? Okay, so we found them, so... All right. And... We're all set. Off we go. Nice transition. Ew, this planet looks sick. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. It looks like... It looks like Frieza is about three minutes away from blowing it up. <laughs> yeah. The planet is dying. Well, Samus is... Is characteristically reckless, so of course she goes right in yeah, there without even thinking about it. Diving straight in, not even slowing down. You know, just gotta break through the barrier. It, yikes. Yeah, it's a big... Evil atmospheric storm. Just oh jeez, can't even see. No! Oh no, that's not good. Oh, that's evil lightning. Oh no, no my no. recklessness. No! no, why did I think this through? God, uh, the amount of times I can count where a GameCube protagonist immediately crash lands. Uh, I can raise two fingers. Well, I mean, it's still operational. It, that's good. It's, I think it's just kind of messed up a little bit. We're certainly not going to get out of here in this state, that's for sure. I think we're kind of marooned on here for the time being. But there she is, in all of her majesty! <laughs> Comes out of the ship. Okay, what happened? Okay, all right. All right. Yep. With little fanfare and without further ado, let's start Metroid Prime 2! And we immediately lose our stuff. Nah, I'm just kidding. Plays a lot similar to the first game. Okay. They got, they got to shoot and all that, but they're just a couple of better, little added things that they that they got here, like the scanning function. I love this. Everything is color coded now. It's not just vague icons. Oh. You can see how much of uh, everything you got on there, and uh, just it, it's it's just really really nice. <laughs> it is 100% Samus' ship. Yep. <laughs> Got that. We have this thing over here, which, well, not sure what that is yet. It's a motivator unit. is functional, but requires power, power to, operate. to operate. Okay. Okay, we can't really power that right now, so we'll just ignore that. Cool. So everything is color-coded. That's a nice change. I think blue is just kind of lore stuff. I think red is new stuff that can be added to your logbook. Hmm. Green is stuff you've already scanned. I'm assuming yellow is just, hey, figure this out. Something like, something like that. But it's all color coded. It looks a lot nicer and uh, Ooh. Much, ooh. Hello, everybody. Still got the great environments, though, that yeah, Metroid yeah. games are famous for. These guys are doing the wave for you. Well, can't go through there either. Been able to interface with door control system. Cannot translate alien text. Gonna have to get some Rosetta Stone or something. Man, somebody had to 3D model all those things that kind of spin around in the visor. That's pretty neat. That doesn't look good. I'm gonna jump down it anyway. Yep, good. Might, might as well. I mean,. Oh, so good. We can go down. I think it might be a giant spider. This seems like some kind of nest. I don't like uh, it. All right, we got the GF gate <laughs> mark mark six. One hundred percent the girlfriend gate mark five uh, six. <laughs> I think that's Galactic Federation gate. Oh, well, that I, makes I just, that makes a lot more sure, sense. You know. Well, I mean, did you see how Tom was looking at his secretary? Oh, I know. Absolutely I know. crazy. Oh, we gotta shoot these things to open it. One. There you go. 
and we beat Metroid Prime 2. Yeah, all right. Good yeah. job. Yeah. I almost said Metroid Prime 2 Federation Force. Get the hell out of Let's here. Get the man. hell out of here. I heard a lot of people say that the game's not that bad. But well, it just feels like a betrayal of what I, it should have been. I think it's a case of a worse game has come out since this, so it's not nearly as bad. No, Met other M came before that. Shit. So we'll, hmm. I guess we'll see if and when we get to it. Yeah. Oh, I know that. Hey, hey, hey. This is our map. Here is the map. Where do you wish to go? Oh, well, maybe find out where Bravo Team went. Oh, here they are. So one of the things I really like about uh, Metroid Prime 2 is they fix the map. No longer do you have highways, but they kind of sprawl out into more of a labyrinthine thing. Oh, it's, not, it's not just highways. There's yay. way more to this level than, than this, though. Oh, good. Think, uh, levels are more connected. It, like, it, it doesn't feel like that you just have to go through one way. You have to go through oh, an, another entire area. God. As far as I know, there's not like a bunch of Magmore problems here where that's basically just a highway to other places. Let's get to scanning, though. We got the Worker Splinter. Ew. It's a drone of the Splinter Hive. I knew we were in a bug thing. This is going to be terrible. Hmm. And, and then these guys here... Uh, oh, it's Bravo Team. <laughs> uh, it's a standard human. Galactic Federation Assault Weapon. Trooper was, in all likelihood, killed by friendly fire. <gasps> oh, that's not good. Something... Ow. What, one of his friends shot him? What do we got here? It's extremely high levels of an unknown toxin. Numerous mm. micropuncture. Oh no, he was bitten by them, weren't they? Well, that ain't that ain't good. Don't like that. It's not a. Oh, look at all the guts. Metroid Prime Two has a lot more alien blood and guts yeah. and stuff. It looks looks real nice. It's, it's it's absolutely disgusting, but still. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, it looks great. Ah, this is a uh, this is a uh, Marine G G GSGT. Well, whatever. There's something wrong with the lock systems in this section. They failed twice locking us out until something's going to let us in. If it happens again while we're playing bait for these things, well, at least we'll go out fighting instead of hiding in the control area. Oh, they have resigned to their fate. Oh, great. Uh, this is, uh, B. Reeves. Because I'm bereaved. Uh, uh, I don't like this plan. This hive is a small portion of a larger network. There may be dozens of hive systems around the planet, and they may all be linked. Destroying this one may buy us time, but also may provoke the other hives into attacking. Oh, Ooh. No. Uh, hmm. Uh, oh dear, hey. oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh yeah. dear. Yeah, no, was, this, this was totally not a doomed prospect from the start. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, that looks... I don't see how this could be doomed in any way. Look like I can go in there. Oh, bye. boy. Anyway. Oh, here we go. Got the bombs already, got Morph Ball, we got plenty of our abilities still. Oh, God. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, this, this is all kinds of not good at all. I'm still Yeesh. glad that Metroid tries to keep a oh. little bit of the space horror intact. Well, well, yeah. I'm glad they never got rid of that. This is a pretty hard T, I'd say. Oh, good. G given some of the things that, uh, you know, how, the, how some of these creatures die. Yeah, that, you, you could argue with Soft M, sure. I'm down for it. M rated Metroid, that, 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 that'd be cool. She just, because of the violence, not because of partial nudity or whatever. She just busts out the gat uh, and starts uh, shooting uh, fuckers. Uh, this um, isn't good, though. No. These are zombies. No, this is a Ow. dark trooper. A deceased GF soldier. Bioscans indicate terminated life signs in this trooper in the presence of an unknown biomass. Yo, taken over. Oh, great. The symbiote has attacked them. Uh, well, awesome. Let's take so, it out. This game uh, relies heavily on the charge shot. Charge shot is your friend in this one. Seems like it has a different sound effect now too. Slightly, it, it charges a bit faster. It does a, it does quite a bit more damage. And I think that's what that's what they want you to use uh, instead of like just regular power shots because there are a lot of weapons in this game too. Oh, cool! Several beams, several weapons. There is a significant ammo problem in this game. Oh, really? <laughs> but, the, but the charge beam will help you out. There we go. Oh no! There's more of them. Man, they, man, they all got screwed up, didn't they? Jeez. The nonchalantness of Sam is just standing there going, "Huh, more." Oh, there's more. Cool. Uh, uh, cool. Better, better take care of that. Yeah, let's just uh, br brush them off here. Okay, bye. 
God, it almost seems like there's a... Like, I know this is old, uh, an old game system, so it's not the most crisp thing in the world, but it almost seems like this place has a special filter just for it. Yeah. I don't know, maybe it's just my eyes. It might be my capture, it might be the, the Wii I'm playing on, but... I don't know, it's still pretty. I've always been a big fan of the GameCube era. This game especially, I, I just like the style in it a lot. Oh, maybe that's what I was saying, just the fog. Uh-oh! Who is that? Hello, hey, you. Hey, you! What's going on? What, what are you doing? Man, whoever that is looks great in that power suit. God, I wonder who she is. Or they are. What are you? Okay, bye. Well, uh... I'm reckless, aren't I? Let's, let's go! Yeah, let's just jump right let's in, why not? Let's go! <laughs> oh. So this is the big, unique gameplay point of Metroid Prime 2. There is a dark world uh, on this planet. Yep. A mysterious dark world! The eponymous Echoes. Dark Echoes is dark what it's echoes. called in other places. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Okay, that it's makes It's called Echoes here in America. I think in the, in the EU and JP, it is Dark Echoes. God, that's phase on. That is just pure phase on. This ain't good. Mm, I thought I was done with the phase on. Th oh, hi. Um, don't, uh, don't shoot. How's the weather? <laughs> uh, oh, uh oh. What the hell happened? No, you turned your head. Don't turn your head in a in a firefight. So the atmosphere in this dark world is toxic and dangerous. And she just destroyed our our safety net, basically. Oh. Ow, 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 pain. ow, Ouch. ow, 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 ow. Alright, I got, I got one chance. If I shoot that thing up there, maybe that'll take me back out. Lot of pure luck happening right now. Man, I almost got my ass kicked by those things. Jeez. Oh. oh. <laughs> Suit. Activate auto cleanup. We've lost a lot of power ups now. Son of a bitch. Those things. Oh. Th those things stole all of our power ups. So. Of course. Yep. Gear was stolen by unknown creatures. Oh no. I that thought... includes the space jump. That includes the grapple beam. <laughs> that includes the morph ball no! boost. It includes the power bomb. Oh, man. And the missiles. Oh, God, we lost our missiles. And the morph ball bomb. Son of a bitch. And that's it. Uh, oh. We still have the morph oh, ball. Oh, okay, okay. We still have, uh... We got bomb or did we lose that? We lost bomb. Okay, we lost bomb. But, we st but what we do have, which is crucial, is the charge beam. That's good. That's very good, which means that we're not completely lost yet, because these things take a lot of damage, and the charge beam is a great way to take care of a lot of things. Did we lose the charge beam in the first game? Um, I forget. Yes. Oh, okay, cool. We, like, oh, we still have the various suit, too. That's even better. So we still got that. We still okay, got, that's good, got those that's big, good. big round shoulders. It's looking good here. Un unfortunately, probably not enough development time to let you lose all your toys. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I think they wanted to, you know, take you back to a certain... You know, starting point. Not take away too much, though. We got a save point here. Ooh, nice new animation for saving. They got this, too. That's nice. To remind you that, hmm. yes, Samus is a woman. Some people still can't figure that out. Some news to me, I mean. Oh, hold on. Let, let me utter some surprise. Do what now, dude? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that seems like an elevator. Activating dynamo. Hmm. See, just like the first game. But things are radically different already. Yeah, I was about to say, look at all the moving parts. Nice. I always love the style of these games. Translation door we can't go through. Good improvements, Retro. I'm digging it. See, with, with the first game, they, you know, made the game, of course. Yeah. Then for this game, I think they took a lot of those, uh... They, they took that, the first game, and made tweaks, little improvements, here and there. And I think they refined those even further in the third game. Because there's not much different from, Net Pro from Metroid Prime 2 to 3, save for the whole, uh, you know, motion control thing. Yeah. See, n now that you say that, Metroid Prime 3 came out... 2007? Yes. Same year the Wii came out. Actually, no, no that was... Last year. 2006. Okay. 
So I'm wondering how much of the development time went to perfecting the motion controls. Well, I think that's kind of the advantage of having the Wii be of lower graphics than its counterparts. So that way you don't have to worry so much about the graphics and whether it runs good on its tiny little baby paper processor and more on how it feels. Makes sense. The dev kit also probably had a tutorial on how to use, how to use motion controls. Oh, oh sure. I, God, I hope so. But they're also uh, uh, you know, with good hands of Nintendo, so. Yeah. So these are splinters, just... You know, it's regular splinters. Yep, just bad, just bad stuff. A lot of buggy creatures around here that have toxins and they bite you and they have pinchers and sharp things on them. So I always thought that splinters were like the worst thing because they just get, you know, caught in the strangest places and yeah. you need to dig them out. Yeah. Uh, I found out that certain splinters do not get infected and instead they just get absorbed into your body and just spit out in another area. Sounds about right. See, I had one underneath my nail and I was like, God, okay, this doesn't hurt. It's not infected, but... You know, I'll just wait to see if it goes away, and it did. Yeah, I got a splinter out of my thumb, and it kind of went into my into my system, and it hasn't really seemed. <coughs> oh hey! Well, see, that's when you start like, sh it's like shooting the watermelon seeds. <laughs> start shooting splinters. <laughs> so yeah, bridge, cool. I know I didn't play this game. But I somehow feel nostalgic for this. Maybe I just miss the GameCube era so much. Well, I mean, you've played Metroid Prime 1, so this is just like, oh, it's That's like true. more of it. <laughs> but I never did finish Metroid Prime 1. I got lost. Well, you finished it with me. All right, uh, another logbook for Veroni here. I'm thinking he's, uh, yeah, he's losing it. All the time, and he wants slave. I'll shot me on watch. Mm, talk to the dog about taking him off the line. He told me we need all the help we can get. He's going berserk and kills a bunch of us. That wouldn't be very helpful. That explains the friendly fire, but hmm. why did he? Why did he go insane? Did he really just get, did, did he just get get the shakes? Did he get shell shocked? Hard hard to say. Hard to tell. Maybe he's just really afraid of splinters. Starts watching TMNT and the rat comes out. He just ah! <laughs> temple grounds. Oh, we're just here in a temple. Okay. Now, I'm going to make a wild guess and say that those containers are filled with Phazon. Well, uh... Or maybe something worse, I don't know. What is, uh, e evil chemical du jour? Well, what are they doing here? What were Bravo Team doing on this planet? Actually, you know what? When you say it that way, I have a funny feeling the Federation just wants to harness the power of Phazon. That would be so in character for them. It it probably would be would be uh, yeah it wouldn't be out of uh, uh, would be out of the question. I mean, it's either that or space pirates are just going nah nah man. Phase on stills where it's at. Everything else on this planet works fine, but the one winch that's when it messes up. Got of it. course, cool. of course. Well, you can just uh, shoot that part there, and there you go. Oh, that was clean. Yeah, I like that. It was nice. Oh, that was nice. That that gets you over here. Okay. Okay. So, we don't immediately go planet hopping. Do we actually uh, leave planets besides the whole Dark World thing? Oh, uh, we're gonna see in a, in a little while that we can't leave. <gasps> oh. We can't leave. Oh, so our ship is kind of borked right we're, now. Yeah, it's a little borked and there's some other things at play that are preventing us from leaving. Oh, okay. Planet hopping doesn't happen until, uh, well, I mean, Hunters, but not until Prime 3. Here, we're stuck solely on Aether. Just breathing in all that ether. <laughs> Start growing extra elbows. That's kind of nice. Where could those guys? Oh, another oh. body. Oh, please say it's Bravo. It's oh, a, it's, it's Broda. Bro it's, it's El Broda. Hey, El Broda, do you still have that twenty bucks? Making our stand here, the engineer tells me there's no way we're good. The ship's engines online and atmospheric interference is scrambling our distress beacon. If anyone reads this, know that we did our duty and fought well. Doubt. Well, I, you guys did your duty, but check this out. All right, comm system activated, initiating automated distress signal. We're gonna send a distress signal to see if they, if, if anybody can can hear us or help us, or at least you know signal back to Federation that that we made it. I kind of love that we're calling their bluff. It's All like, right. Did they actually send it? And the signal can't get past the atmosphere. Interesting. So we are stuck here. Nobody knows we're here. And everything keeps turning into venom. 
I mean, could be worse. Could it? I mean, things are pretty dire right now. If they could get worse, I'd uh, rather they didn't. I mean, the only way they could get worse is if Adam knew we were actually here. Adam's still alive here, right? Yes. 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 Yeah, I had to think about that too. I was just like, hmm. Like this, is before, okay, cool. this is before Super Metroid. Other M was after Super Metroid. He died in Other M, which was after Super Metroid. So, yes, it's, it's still, he's still here. Excellent. I don't think he's too involved in her life, though, because I think Other M was like, Adam. <laughs> you say it three times in a mirror and he appears. Well, well, is it Adam Malkovich? Or is it Adam Malkovich? It's hard to tell. Or maybe it's just like. I, li I like this one. This oh. is uh, M. Angseth. Check it. Okay, I'm pressing along, the injury for free. This is ridiculous. I can outshoot half the men here, and I'm stuck on monitor duty. I didn't join up to stare at hollow screens. This wouldn't happen to Samus Aaron. She'd be out there taking care of business, not pressing buttons and sending reports. Except, uh, right now I'm uh, pushing buttons and sending reports. What do you want? That was pretty nice. I'm glad that some of the Federation jocks are still, like, happy that Samus exists. So that's why I like, the, you know, the logbooks in the Metroid Primes. You know, now that I'm actually reading them, they offer a lot of backstory, and, well, it's kind of malfunctioning. Yeah, yoink. That's okay. Easy stuff. Who wants to see me? Uh, oh. Oh. Planet's pretty dead right now. Here we are. Okay. I found the corpses of Bravo Team. Ugh, something got into their helmets. Ugh. Everybody is dead. Let's see what happened. Data state cycle 07014.2, Cosmos. The final report of the task force. Oh, God. Uh, oh. So, space pirates are here. Space pirates are here? Of course. Space pirates are here. Of course they fucking yes. are. God damn it. They don't learn. Uh, this is the worst place they could have had a, they could have had a dog fight. So, followed him here, and, you know, the same thing happened to them that happened to us. The storm took us, took, took him down, and kind of stranded him here. Ships borked, ships fried, let's set up camp and see if we can't try and, you know, eke out some uh, meager existence. Heavy I mean, magnetic yeah. activity during the storm disabled our comm systems. Okay, yeah. so no talking. That checks, that checks. Split into two units, want to set up an op oh, space. Oh, you poor fools. Which is who we just saw when we came here, and then these people who are also dead. Everything was fine. Until the Fire Nation attacked. Until they appeared. Oh my god. Man, that's such sci-fi horror. God, I love it. Until they appeared. Who is they? This is where I argue the soft M. Hey guys, we're getting attacked by things! Whoa! Oh, that's not good. It's a hundred uh -oh. of them. Uh -oh. oh no! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Ooh, nope. Don't shit. like. Don't like. No, nope, don't, don't like. Nope. Not a fan. Nope. <laughs> oh no, shit! Oh no! Out of nowhere! Oh god! Oh, oh, get off! No! Oh, no! Oh, oh. no. Ah. Jesus! Yeah, he's not safe up there. Oh shit! Oh, oh, he did a fucking flip! I was about to say acrobatic little shit. God damn! Ah. <laughs> oh! There's so many of them! Oh god! Yeah, no wonder! You guys got fucked! Hmm. Please, let my wife know that I'm canceling our reservation. You're single, Ken. <laughs> Damn! Wow, I didn't like Ken either, but he told a good story. And steamed a good ham. What an odd fellow. <laughs> <laughs> She's just getting... It, like remembering scenes from different Christmas parties and other get-togethers that the Federation has had, and it's just like, okay, I really didn't like this guy. That was Captain Exeter. Well, he lives up to his to name. I to think it was a real bad idea going down there. You think? Reeves was right. That hive is just a one of many. It's stupid. This thing is a horse to hit the horse's ass, especially if you plan on sleeping under it. You guys really shouldn't have gone in there. I mean, you know, little hindsight. Boy, the movie Avatar would have been a lot shorter if this happened. <laughs> I was just thinking it. The Navi don't even see the humans, just a, just a whole bunch of bugs get in their ships and eat them alive and skin them. <laughs> Save the class warship, uh, yeah, they damage, possibly they for use, uh, metal parts of tears, well, possibly for use as makeshift defense systems. Oh. So, they were so desperate to stay alive, they took weapons from their own ship and tried to use that, and it didn't work. Hmm. Tragic. 
All right, uh, SPF F Triplez. Sarge says these splinters remind him of some killer bug he saw on another planet once. All I know is that things are fast to take a lot of drop. Free Sue, up to go to bayonets. Everyone's low on ammo, even Broad, and he's the strongest grunt I know. Oh, they had to go back in time for their weaponry. Yeah. None of the other stuff was working. There's like six corpses here. This oh. is S Milligan. All with equally important lore. Brodus lost the bet, so we switched to watching with me. I figured this section is nice and safe oh, and boring, which suits me just fine. Oh, no. Oh, no. Halt! No! He oh, God. G. Haley. What do you have to say? I hear them everywhere. They're coming. Can't sleep ever. <laughs> we just had Metroid Prime 2's <laughs> Itchy, itchy tasty, tasty. <laughs> nice oh no all right this is brood i've heard i've heard him uh yeah, yeah, yeah. a couple of things man i hope that this is the only breeding ground for these things but <laughs> there's more we're in big trouble you had a hard enough time taking that one out of commission i almost ran out of ammo i never run out of ammo in this game you w yeah th yeah th there's an ammo problem in this game we'll get to it uh, because it hasn't happened yet but that's rough you We'll, we'll get there. It's part of the game. They they wove it in there, but it's 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 gonna be tough. This is this is a very hard Metroid game. Even compared to one and three, this one is certainly challenging. The GameCube version especially is difficult because yeah, you were telling me about that. Yeah, yeah. If if you're playing the you know the the, the Wii U Virtual Console version or the Metroid Prime Trilogy version, you are playing an easier version, and it's not just because of uh, you know the motion controls. There are certain buffs as well. When we get to one specific boss, that's t that, that's the that, that, that's yeah. the, the, the big pinnacle of difficulty is this one specific boss. You were telling me about that too, so I can't wait we to see that. We're not going to rule out the action replay to pull out this boss. Oh, come on. You can do it. I'm serious. Oh, you can do because it. Because the devs had said that they've never been able to beat this. What? At least some devs have said they've never been able to beat that boss. Well, I can't wait. When we get there, though. When we get there. This is, of course, the GameCube version, so this is, of course, that version. Now, I actually did suggest I do have the trilogy version, which is all three with Wii motion controls. But, but because uh, it's, it's convenient for me, I'm just going with the first the version that I have, which is the earliest releases. Hey, that's valid. Do you have the one that came with the bonus disc? No, no wait, that's Metroid Prime 1. Never yes. Mind. So now we got another map for the area. That's another difference. You don't have just one map that gets the whole area. You have uh -oh. sections. So now the map is getting a lot bigger. Jeez. The maps have been improved immensely, and I could not be happier. Wow. It feels like I'm exploring a labyrinth rather than just going through a highway. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Magmore Caverns is unforgivable. <laughs> But we had so many fun times together, like that time you burnt your foot, or that time you jumped in lava. And, and admittedly, the more you go through there and the more weapons you get, yeah. the easier it is to traverse, but still, it's kind of, it's just... Alright. So, here's how this works. Bomb. Oh, a morph, morph ball. ball. I can uh, do that. Yeah. I'm a morph ball. And then it just... Boom. I, oh! Just like that. God, how often does that have to happen to her? It's like, hey, Samus, we forgot our basketball at home. Do you mind? So over here is one uh, more corpse. Ooh. Another one. This is eye craning. Oh, this poor bastard. He was right in there. Last night at Chow, Aang Seth starts talking about some bounty hunter and how she blew up a planet full of space pirates. I told her I didn't believe in fairy tales like that, and she took it personal. I just find it hard to believe that one person took out... An entire space pirate base, that's all. If she wants to believe in the Samus or Bigfoot or Santa Claus, she can. Who's laughing now, bitch? Well, let, let me say, I am ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I'm Santa Samus. <laughs> Let's talk logbooks. Yeah, are we doing 100%? We're going to try our hardest. We're going to try our damnedest. But again, you know, we can't unlock everything in one go because we have to do the hard playthrough and all that. And of course, there's an extra part of doing But I'm gonna do what I can. Just know that I'm trying my absolute damnedest to get everything that we can get. So does that include logbook, bestiary, all that fun stuff? Yeah, there's uh, there's creatures, there's research, there's lore, and there's uh, something else probably. Uh, who's this dude? But we got all the trooper logs. That's nice to see. 
And just get out of the hives. Everyone was gone, dead. Maybe someone can help me wait there. Something's moving down. Oh, <laughs> no. Famous last words. Yeah, we have all, all the trooper logs from uh, Force 1 and 2, so that's good. We got uh, our, our returning friends, the War Wasps. Oh, fun. They showed up pretty early. That's cool. Don't like that. Cunning Aerial Hunter. I wonder why Talon life forms are here on planet Ether, but that's probably cutting corners to save costs and time. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine by me, I don't mind. Yeah, yeah. She gives us more things to shoot. Kinetic Orb Cannon, here we go. Xena attack, Kinetic Orb Cannons. Okay, another cannon. Shoot me! Shoot me! Where we got a scan? Oh, there it is. There you go. And there's your tutorial on not everything works immediately. You kind of have to scan around. Gets you to look up, too. Whew. This is kind of getting you back into the game. If this is your first time, it introduces you. So we got the hives here. Blow it the fuck up. Will do. Blown the fuck up. I wonder why they bleed blue. It's a little strange. I mean, it's better than the nothing they bled in the last game. If anything, this game just gave them, you know, a little extra juice. Maybe they make blueberry honey. Ooh. They're mm, They probably honey. don't make any honey, but, you know, no, whatever. Probably not. Yes. All right. <laughs> They're still douchebags. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. I think we need to... Yeah. There we go. Oh, I thought you actually had to hit it multiple times. That would have been my solution. There it is. Did you actually kill a wasp mid-flight? Did I? Yeah, you did. Wow. <laughs> nice shot. Well, I mean, kinetic... You're basically boosting through the air. I think that's the state they put you in when they do that. Probably to make <laughs> sure that you don't do anything that's untoward. Or oh, I love it. It worked. All right, not bad. And I'm out of missiles. Well, uh... You got any missiles for me, buddy? No, I thought... Ooh. How about these things? You guys got missiles? And are we exper We are experiencing well, the don't. ammo issue. Right, well, there's uh, the first ammo issue. Not the biggest one, because we're still very early in the game, but still kind of kind of discouraging. So, they're stingy, is what I'm hearing. Yeah. You gotta do a little bit of farming for a lot of the ammo, especially later on. But, uh... Yeah. What I'm curious is what line of code dictates what you get. Probably some kind of RNG, and what's this thing? It's leg. Look at it. It's been dead for eight cycles. It's been here for a while, then. Yeah, how long is a cycle in space talk? That, I don't know. I've never figured that out. I want to think it's like a universal kind of cycle. Like, maybe weeks? But like, you know, we got, we got an Earth year, we got a Pluto month, we got a Mercury week, you know. Maybe there's like a Universal Galactic Federation ah! term for cycles. Like maybe it's like five Earth years, ten Earth years. I don't know. Well, now we're at the Great Temple. This is kind of... Oh, I wouldn't say it's our hub, but this is our home hmm. base. Home base. This will take us to other places in the Temple Ground that will take us to the, to the actual areas we'll be going to. Okay. So you got a <laughs> safe station <laughs> there's there. There's your safe station. All right. Okay, not bad. Another one of these things. 8.1 cycles. Oh, eight and eight weeks in a day. It mm. was a warrior of some kind. Hmm. Another one. I like what's happening here. It's a slow build. We got bad stuff already happening. And it's... Most likely going to get worse. Oh, it's it's already pretty dire. It's it's gonna get a lot worse before it gets better. Yeah, you did. Oh, H hello. You can try and scan those things. If you can't, don't worry. You'll get another chance. Oh, good. I thought it'd be cool and get one before they left, but you know. What are these little guys? Not so lucky, unfortunately. Oh. Well, that was uh, what a start. That's that's the way to start things. Stranded on a planet, evil symbiote bugs. Everything's dead. Am I the only thing that's living on this planet that's actually, you know, not trying to... And there's Dark Samus! <laughs> like, shit! <laughs> good start, good start, good guys. Good start, good start. Well, may maybe we can get some more sense and have a better, uh, better idea next time on Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Whew. See you then.